two adjectives to describe your love life? Um, non-existent and boring. <laughs> so you're not asexual or anything? You just can't get a date? No, no, I'm, yeah, I'm actually polyamorous. I just can't, I just can't get a date. I don't know. I don't know. I try, I try. And then the ones that I want, just not interested. I don't know, I try. What's your theory to as why? Well, my roommate tells me it's because these boys are too shy, that they're intimidated by such a strong woman. I don't know if that's true. I think I go for guys that, I think I'm just attracted to guys that don't really give a fuck, sadly. Would you date you? Fuck yeah! Oh my god, totally! Oh, if I could split myself in two, I mean, oh gosh, I'd be so happy. It'd be such a good, healthy relationship. It'd be great. <sighs> Could you share some of your virtues with us? Maybe Mr. or Mrs. Wright is listening. Um, what makes me so great to date? Um, I don't get jealous. Not really, at least. There's like those little pangs, but I've worked through my jealousy a lot, so I'm not controlling or possessive, which is great. I think that's like a number one. Um, pretty much down to do anything. Like if you're like, let's go, drive 2,000 miles just to lay in a desert for a couple days, I'm like, yes, please, like, let's do it. I'm down, let's go. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm, I think I'm fine, but not too fun. Not, I'm not crazy. Um, I don't know. I don't like to have to talk about myself too much. <laughs> I don't know. Are you good in bed? Um, I feel like that's, such a subjective question. Um, I like to think I'm good in bed. I've heard great reviews, but I've never like slept myself in that way. So I don't know. I don't know. I have somebody you can ask if you want. Two adjectives that would describe yourself in bed, in your opinion. Hmm. Um. Um. Passionate. Passionate while being like down to earth about it and um, oh God, I've never tried to think of this two adjectives to describe myself in bed Yeah, passionate and um, I don't know. I'm I'm fun <laughs> I'm willing. I'm just like down to experiment like let's try some weird kinky shit. Let's do it. I'm down. Whatever <laughs> Are you aware of the irony that a um, world famous dominatrix can't get a date? Sadly, I am. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, oh my god, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's frustrating. Do you think you're gonna die sad and alone? No. No, honestly, okay, and this is real talk right here. I, part of me is more terrified to grow old with somebody that I love so dearly because then we're gonna be old, right? And one of us is gonna have to be like dying before the other one or watch the other one die. And after so many years of such like an intense love, that is traumatizing. And some people are like, but that's the beauty of being in love and growing old to somebody. And I'm like, yeah, but that's fucking depressing. Does one have to be kinky to date you? No. I've even dated somebody who was asexual before and we didn't really have too much of a happening love life. But I mean, it's, it's good. It's really cool if you're like down to just be open-minded. It helps. It makes things more fun, I think. But it's not required. Have you had any luck at all in the past year or two? Um, hmm. Eh, no, not really. It's not like I haven't had sex for the past year or two, I do, but have I had like an electrifying thing happen? No. It's all been pretty like lame, whatever. Boring. Are you aware of the thousands of people who will probably be watching this and being like, I would do anything for her? Yes, I'm aware that that is a real possibility. But I'm also aware that 
It's the internet. And I'm being very real in this video, but I'm also just like the kind of person like you gotta, this is real life experience. This isn't some internet facade experience. You can want me, but can you really have me? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just picky. I don't wanna say my standards are too high. I'm just picky. I know what I want and I'm not gonna settle at this point because it's not worth it. I'll just be unsatisfied. And the other person probably will be too. So what do you want? <laughs> what do I want? Oh gosh. I want a partner who is independent. I want a partner who appreciates and respects me and is very into me, but not to the point that they're clingy or too attached. I want a love that respects the other person's personal journey and personal path and realizing that we're in a relation right now, we're choosing to be with each other and every day we make that choice and that is the most beautiful thing about being with somebody is continuing to make that choice. That's real love. And he asked me, it'd be cute if they were cute. That'd be cool. I'm also shy. I'm so shy and quiet and introverted. So like the chances of me going somewhere social and meeting somebody are like so slim to none. I have to be in the most particular mood for that. So um, I think when I meet somebody, it'll happen so naturally. I'll be like on a walk, on a hike, on a mountain somewhere, and I'll pass by a cute boy and he'll just see me and he'll just stop. There's only been, okay, there's been one time that this guy, I was at the show with my sister and we were waiting to get checked in, get into the show because she pre-bought the tickets. There was this guy who walked in and he like saw me and looked away and then he looked back up again. He like, he did a double take and I've never seen somebody look at me like that. And I was just like, oh, I don't think it's me. I don't think it's me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get really red during this video because it's embarrassing. <laughs>